What is going on guys? Today we have a very, very, very exciting video. We are talking about Alibaba stock and we have some huge delisting news that came out this past week that no one seems to be talking about and the stock has hardly reacted to it. So we are going to get into that in this video here today. If you enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. Probably the craziest thing about the news that we are going to talk about in this video is how the stock has reacted and basically there has been no reaction from the stock we can see here today that the stock is up 1.69 percent but the overall market was up quite a bit today and if we look at the last five days we can see that the stock kind of you know is basically trading sideways but the news was actually announced back thursday into friday and we can see this spike up from 99 dollars 91 all the way to 104 uh, $104.84. So that spike occurred, but then ever since then, the market has really beaten down on a lot of different companies, and Alibaba has been no exception, but it's honestly held up a lot better than the market, uh, which I believe has a lot to do with this news that we are about to get into. And the news that was announced is that US regulators are now able to audit Chinese firms. And this is huge news because this breaks away a lot of the delisting concerns that have gone on between Chinese companies and the US SEC. So what we have here is that US regulators have selected e-commerce majors, Alibaba Group, and JD, among other US listed Chinese companies for audit inspection starting next month. People with knowledge of the matter said. So this kind of concerned me, this last quote in here that people with knowledge of the matter said. So what I immediately did when I read this is Googled delisting concerns with China, and I wanted to see if there are other people even talking about this, what's going on with the matter. And that led me to a different article. Here we have Goldman even talking about this. So Goldman Sachs, the biggest financial company basically in the world, maybe after after JP Morgan Chase, but they are even talking about this and they have some interesting things to say. But basically here in this article by CNBC, which again, a very trustworthy source, uh, the, Chinese, uh, the China Securities Regulatory Commission and US Public Company Accounting Oversight Board announced Friday that both sides signed an agreement for cooperation on inspecting the audit work papers of US listed Chinese companies. So this was huge in basically, basically reaffirming what I had seen in this other article that Chinese companies are now going to be able to be audited by U.S. regulatory uh, companies. This is huge news. So the selection follows a landmark audit deal between Beijing and Washington on Friday, allowing U.S. regulators to vet accounting firms in mainland China and Hong Kong potentially ending a long-running dispute that threatened to boot more than 200 Chinese companies from U.S. stock exchanges. So there are a ton of companies like NIO, uh, Alibaba, obviously, JD, that are all listed on the New York Stock Exchange that have all been threatened for the past year at delisting concerns. And they have been on, Alibaba was listed back in 2014, I believe it was. And overall, you know, these stocks have, you know, not had correct audits for a very long period of time. And finally, we're starting to get to the stage where US regulators can go into China and actually confirm, you know, is Alibaba presenting the correct information when they are presenting their earnings and looking at their overall books, everything like that. So this is huge news for Chinese stocks, honestly, for the Chinese um, the Chinese economy and as well as the U.S. economy and stock uh, stock market. So overall, absolutely massive news coming out of this deal. And here we have another couple points that are important. So this will all take place coming up in mid September. So basically, the PCAOB, uh, that's the audit firm the, uh, from the U.S., it expects its officials to land in Hong Kong, where the inspections will take place in mid-September. So that is already, you know, a very short time frame that they are going to get out there and start looking at these companies. And hopefully, you know, if any issues come up right away, they can start addressing them right away and, you know, get talks underway. But this is great news again for overall that these uh, auditors can go into China and actually look at these books. On top of that, basically what's a little concerning is that um, basically the regulators, 
that oversee the audits of U.S. companies uh, said that it selected companies based off risk factors such as size and sector. So obviously Alibaba, uh, what they're saying here is has some sort of additional risk that they're seeing. And that could be just because of the overall size of the company. They could be talking about risk to investors, right? So Alibaba is one of the largest company Chinese companies uh, in the world on the U.S. Uh, on the New York Stock Exchange. So I believe it's around 250 million market cap. Uh, we can actually jump back and look real quick. Yeah, so 250, sorry, billion market cap. And basically what they could be saying in this statement is that there is a, a risk that's associated with having such a large market cap that they are saying that, you know, this large amount of money being from U.S. investors uh, on the New York Stock Exchange, that that is the risk. Or they could also be saying, which would be much worse, is that Alibaba is likely, you know, somehow forging their numbers or there's something wrong with their books. So they see it as being a high risk. So that is something that we need to, you know, keep an eye on uh, overall to see what type of risk are they talking about with Alibaba? Are they talking about some sort of risk in terms of they don't believe the business, they believe the business is somehow being fraudulent? Or is it a risk that they're saying risk to investors where, you know, there's a lot of capital tied up in Alibaba stock and there's a risk there uh, that, you know, if this company needs to be dis delisted or, you know, there's some issue with their earnings being reported, something like that that they wanna get it just addressed right away. So that is a question that we will wait uh, on an answer for because here they're very just broad in just saying risk factors of size and sector. And I highlighted a couple more things in this article. The biggest one though that I wanted to touch on is this point here. So current US rules stipulate that Chinese companies that are not in compliance with audit working uh, papers requested will be suspended from trading in the US in early 2024. So this is kind of good and bad news, right? bad that they have a time frame already set up that you know okay if we aren't able to figure this out in the next two years uh where chinese companies are able to get audited effectively then you know these companies will get delisted but it's also good in the same sense where okay we have two years to figure this out right maybe a year and a half depending on you know when they would uh conduct this delisting but overall they have two years year and a half ish to figure out you know what is the best way to audit these companies you know gain cooperation between the two groups before there's any real concern you know of these companies delisting so overall you know i personally see this as a benefit because they've all clearly struck this deal and they're turning around these audits really quickly uh, being lined up already for mid uh, September, but at the same time, you know they need to work through these problems that they are going to run into and get these all figured out in a very quick time frame. Because nobody wants these companies to be delisted. That's the thing. The U.S. doesn't want Chinese companies to be delisted because that'll hurt U.S. investors, right? And that's the whole goal of the SEC is to protect U.S. investors. And China doesn't want these companies being delisted because it lack it'll ruin its exposure to additional capital. So both sides are really looking for, you know, some resolution to this this issue that's been going on for so many years. The last thing I wanted to touch on, which I find very interesting, is this Goldman article and what they are talking about. So the Goldman Sachs analysts said Monday, their model suggests that the market is pricing in around a 50% probability that Chinese companies could be delisted from the U.S., that's down from a 95% uh, in mid-March, the highest on record going back to January uh, 2020. So overall, what's very interesting is, right, the market they're saying has came down all the way to, uh, or all the way from 95% chance of the stock Alibaba being delisted to around a 50-50 chance which I don't know exactly. I'd have to look and see if you could get access to Goldman Sachs models, but I don't know how they're modeling that because if you look at the stock price and where it's gone in that time, it has only gone down. And for them to claim that, you know, now the stock is around 50-50, I would kind of think that's, you know, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You would expect that if it was at a 95% chance of delisting is what the market was considering, that now with a 50-50% probability, uh, that the stock would have exploded up by quite a bit. And we haven't, like we talked about at the start of this video, we haven't seen the stock move. 
So the real question is, you know, what's going on with the market? I still think there's a lot of underlying, um, you know, concerns with the overall market that are beating down Alibaba and all, definitely with the Chinese economy as well. But this alone should have moved the stock, in my opinion, more than it has. And the question is, when will the market start to digest this news? Because I don't think it is fully digested. We saw that spike up uh, Thursday into Friday of last week. And, you know, ever since then, the stock's kind of died off and i would kind of expect you know under normal market conditions that news as big as this would have moved the stock more than it has so again it's not saying that it's not going to in my opinion it eventually will it's just other conditions are you know inhibiting it so overall what's your opinion on alibaba i'd love to hear it down in the comment section down below and if you like the video make sure you drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you hit that sub button and as always guys have a wonderful rest of your day.